Hey guys, Mindset here, owner of Team Critical Reaction. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the Battle Beaver controller, uh, a review. I've been planning on doing this video for a while, but the big thing was I really wanted some time on the controller before I did a review. Uh, I don't think it's a very good way of doing a review if you just open it and you haven't played on it for a while. Uh, I also brought in my friend's scuff controller. I really wanted to be able to go over some of the differences here and why I personally think that this is a superior product. So I am going to start off with the scuff controller. So I, I've used one of these before, uh, and I'm just not a huge fan of the paddles. Um, I know a lot of people do like the paddles. However, for me, the way that my hand sits on a controller, I like it to wrap. Um, I really like the feel of where my hand can actually just sit and not have to be up pressing up upwards for paddles. Um, and as you can see, paddles are literally flat across the back of the controller. Um, they click well. Uh, the controller feels nice. However, I just don't like the way that the paddles work for when using um, those two buttons. Now, overall, Scuff makes a great controller, don't get me wrong, but to me, it's just not the same thing. Uh, and we can go over a few of the reasons why. This is the Optic Gaming Xbox 360 controller that I borrowed from a friend of mine. Um, as you can see, uh, you probably can't see actually, but it does have the adjustable trigger stops, uh, does have the paddles underneath. So this also has trigger stops on it, the adjustables. Uh, very cool little aspect of it is it comes with its own wrench where you have to actually purchase the scuff wrench separately to be able to actually adjust your, um, your triggers. So my biggest pet peeve with this has to be the actual paddles themselves. Again, I do not like pressing up. For me, it's just, it's not comfortable. It feels awkward. Um, and they also tend to break fairly often, and I'm not a fan of anything that's going to break. I just, if you're in the middle of a match or if you're in the middle of a game, especially if you're a competitive player, something like this breaks in the middle of a match, you've, you've pretty much lost. Uh, you're, you're no longer useful to your team. You've, you've become a detriment. Couldn't help it. Sorry, guys. Detriment. Ugh. Um, so as you can hear for the triggers, uh, that's going to be one of the main other things I don't like. Like, why do they need to make that kind of noise for trigger stops? Whereas the Battle Beaver, you just don't hear any of that. Uh, for me, this is so much nicer. Uh, the adjustable triggers, really clean. The uh, You may or may not be able to see these, but there are two buttons underneath, one on each side. For me, it's perfect the way that my hand sits. Um, my fingers literally just wrap around the controller, and I can just click them at will. Uh, after using this now for the last two months, I absolutely love it. The buttons always seem to work just fine. I've never had any input errors. The uh, Everything just is, is the day that I got it. And I abuse controllers if I can help it. Um, so for me, after using this, I really found an increase um, in my game, so to speak. The jumping, the ability to knife um, for Call of Duty or for Halo, both are just phenomenal. The uh, the only downfall with any trigger stop, and this isn't a flaw by any means, it's just the way that the game is made, is that you have to get a full trigger pull in for certain weapons. In Destiny, for example, uh, the actual little, you get that extra car thing, it's not a car, it's like a freaking hovercraft or whatever, but your own little personal speeder. You actually have to get a full trigger full pull to get the boost. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't really work on any you know adjustable trigger unless you actually get the smart triggers from Battle Beaver, uh, and there you will be able to get the full pull uh, and be able to use it to its full advantage. So I didn't get the smart triggers; they weren't really ready yet. They weren't really MLG approved, but you can go check that out now at Battle Beaver C or BattleBeaverCustoms.com or, or at Battle Beaver C. Uh, they make some great products. So. This is the Critical Reaction Controller. Uh, we did the unboxing, but I still want to go over some of the pieces of it. You do see the Critical Reaction logo here, the name Critical Reaction, and also the Critical Reaction home button. Uh, you can pick this up at Battle Beaver Customs. You will have to get a hold of him uh, on Twitter to get it. It's a special order piece, uh, not available on their site yet, but it will be soon. Um, other than that, guys, I really want to thank Battle Beaver for this. Uh, this controller is phenomenal. Uh, I actually was able to get the first one off the line, and I think it's absolutely perfect, uh, especially after using it for a while. I know a bunch of my guys have bought them and absolutely love them as well. 
So if you go to BattleBeaverCustoms.com, you will be able to buy controllers. You'll be able to have some custom ones made, and uh, make sure you use Team CR at checkout, guys. I really appreciate everything everybody's done for us. Uh, the distance we've come in just the last six months, guys, has been unbelievable, and that's all thanks to you guys, our viewers. Uh, nothing can be done without you. It's it's absolutely phenomenal. So I want to thank everybody um, that works with me here. Um, you guys really, as always, the best. I can't uh, I can't thank all of you enough. So check it out, Battle Beaver Customs or at Battle Beaver C. Uh, and until next time, guys. Be good.